Hey guys, Shabby be here, bringing you something very interesting if you like Magic the Gathering, and especially if you are a Commander player like I am, because these are all very interesting things because it's um, Commander 17 spoilers, possible spoilers. And these all could still be fake, but they might not be. Alright, uh, these are all brought to us by Turn 1 Thoughts. He's on Instagram, because you can tell, because he's marked every card. Turn at turn one thought C, so check him out if you want to check out these spoilers yourself. But uh, basically, the only reason you want to is if you comes up with new ones and you can blow up the pictures more than this already. All right, let's start things off with Broodmate Dragon. That's a good card. Steel Hellkite, really good sweeper. Uh, Haven and Spirit Dragon, it's okay. Spellbound Dragon, Tyrant Familiar. Um, Crucible of the Spirit Dragon. A mystery land on the left beside a spellbound. I'm not exactly sure. All I know is it enters Bedfield and Mana Pool because it's cut off. Um, then we have whatever the Jeskai uh, White Blue Dragon is Slumgar, Culligan, Dromoka, Atarka. Now we get to something new Wesatora, Nekatora, oh, Nick Oru Queen. Um, Two, a black, a red, and a green. So it's Jund. Uh, legendary creature, Cat Dragon. That's weird. And I know you can see the, the interesting card right below it, though. It's the card I'm actually looking for to the most. Whenever a Wesator, Nekotoru, or Nekotoru Queen deals combat damage to a player, that player sacrifices a creature. If the player can't, you create a 3 3 black, red, and green Cat Dragon creature token flying. It's interesting because it's a cat dragon, and well, it's not bad. Like I, I kind of like it because it, he d it forces your opponent to sacrifice a creature, and if not, they you get creatures. So it's not bad. And he's a five four, decent stats. This is the most interesting card in my opinion. Out of all these spoilers. Oh, Kagachi, vengeful Kami. He's one and then one of every color. He's a legendary dragon, dragon spirit. And this card is cool as hell. Uh, he's a he's got flying trample six six. Whenever he deals damage to a co uh, deals combat damage to a player, if that player attacked you during his or her last turn, exile target lawn and land permanent that player controls. It's a pretty powerful ability, but you know it has also a weird call like they had to have attacked you, so it makes it so you pretty much want to attack people who attacked you already. Just so you can get the uh, the exile ability, but he's still a very cool card because this thing, this card, um, this is the card I've been wanting to be a actual card for the longest time, uh, ever since Kamigawa block. And well, hey, look at that, we finally got it, even though it's the commander set. So I'm still waiting for us to come back to Kamigawa one year. Yep, it's not gonna happen. But I hope it does. Alright, then we get the Ur Dragon. Now let's be confused with Scion of the Ur Dragon. Because he's actually just the Scion of this guy. Uh, this guy is actually very cool because uh, his cost is ridiculous. That's the first thing. Um, he's a Avatar, which is also pretty cool. Then we finally get our look at the commander ability for every group, like every uh, tribe, I'm assuming everyone's going to have eminence. Uh, which is probably going to be like, as long as whatever's in the uh, like battlefield or command zone, is, um, that tribe's creatures or, or that tribe's spells are going to cost one less to cast. So, like humans or something, if there's a human tribe, uh, humans will cost one less to cast, blah blah blah. But, I'm hoping it'd be all different weird tribes. I'm hoping, and dragons is the most common one. Hopefully, angels. If we're getting dragons, hoping angels, demons, um, dragons. I think there's supposed to be four. I don't know what the fourth one would be, but yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to actually mention the most important part of this guy. Whenever, okay, he's got flying, obviously. Whenever one or more dragons y you control. Attacks. Well, attack. Period. Uh, draw that many cards. Then you may put a permanent card from your hand into the battlefield. The interesting thing about this 
ability is. It does not tell you that you're able to put a dragon to play. It says a permanent. Anything. You're in five colors. You're going to find something interesting to put into play for free. And I'm sure there is many ways to break this card. And in fact, I'm looking forward to buying a uh, one of these commander decks. If this is actually a like real leak. Because otherwise, I'd be kind of sad. Because these are all really cool cards. Well, most of them. And then finally, here's the Cat Dragon. 3-3 three, three flying Cat Dragon. Um, that art is actually very adorable. And I hope that's actually a thing. And yes, I'm on um, MTG Salvation because Mythic Spoiler doesn't have it. And I go on MTG Salvation way more than Mythic Spoiler anyways. The only reason I go on Mythic Spoiler is... It's easier to do videos like these because people usually don't actually put the video, like the, not videos, but the uh, pictures in a order that I can actually go through. Um, all right, so what did you guys think about these leaks? Is there any card in particular that you are looking forward to uh, out of all of these? Me, I want to actually use a um, O Kagachi Vengeful Comedy uh, deck. I don't know why. Because I've always liked it. I've always had a love for Kamigawa. Uh, many people are going to be like, why? That set, set sucked. The set did suck. Uh, but flavor-wise, it was cool. And that's what I like about the set. The flavor. Uh, they didn't actually put it together very well. But there's a couple cool things. Like um, ninjas were cool. Uh, some of the spirits were cool. The, um, the big legendary dragons were all pretty cool. But yeah. Um... This guy's pretty cool, though. And also, this flavor text, At his behest, the Kami War began to regain that which was taken. <sighs> so awesome. Brings back memories. Alright, but like I said, let me, know, uh, let me know in the comments down below, which of these are you looking forward to the most? It's not like it's going to matter because you can get all these in one uh, commander deck, but if you happen to pick one, which one of these would you like to use? In a anything, I guess a deck, standard, uh, legacy, vintage. Don't I know you can't use these as a standard, but if you could, would you? That's the real question. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and have a nice day. And um, I'll try to keep an eye out for any more leaks from this guy because we might get some more interesting stuff like the uncommons, commons. Uh, maybe there's a couple more legendary things that's in this because. Obviously, he didn't blow his whole load because, well, not all the cards in the deck are here. So, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.